Shabbat Shalom. It's good to see everybody. Welcome, Dr. Amahai. It's good to see you as well. We're going to begin Shalom Aleichem, page 13. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharit, Malachi Shana could be door, Omar, I'm to leave of him, him, Loya do the Rakai, Asheni Bativia beam, you own a menu cati. Sixteen. Shiru la donna, Shir Kada, Shiru la donna. Adonai Barhu Shimo Basru Miyom Yom Yeshuato Sapruva Goyin Kivodo Bihola Amim Nibla Otav Kigadol Adonai Om Hula Yeah, 
Yeramayam, 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 Mumelo, Yeramayam, 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 Mumelo, Yismiku Hashamayim, Yismiku Hashamayim, Yismiku Hashamayim, Betagilaret, Yalo Sadai Vekolasheir, Bo Azirani Nukolase, Yali, Neadunai Kiva Kivali, Shpora Aret, Ishpote Velbit Sedeg, Amimi Munato. Adonai Malak Tagilaret, Yismiku Yimabi. Or Zarwala Tzadi, Kol Yishrele, Simcha, Simcha, Tzadikim Badunai, Behodu Lezecher Kocho. Page 18. Miz Moshe Rana Shir Chadash, Ki Nitlot Asahot Yushi Olo Yimino Zroa Kocho Hodi. Leave <laughs> Romimu Adunai Elohim Uvishtachavu Leharkocho Romimu Adunai Elohim Uvishtachavu Leharkocho Ki 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 Kadosh Adunai Elohim Romimu Ki Shadunai Elohim Romimu Romimu Adunai Elohim Uvishtachavu Lehar Kocho Romimu Adunai Elohim Uvishtachavu Lehar Kocho We turn to page 20, we rise a psalm demonstrating God's power in our world just as we begin the process of transferring into Shabbat. Ms. Morley David, Havul Adonai B'nei Elim, Havul Adonai Kavod Vaoz Yalalai, Havul Adonai Adonai, la ma boya 
Shava Yeshev Adonai Melech Leolam Adonai Oz Leamo Yitin Adonai Yivarek Rambo Vashalom Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 May be seated Page 21 Lechadudi Lechadudi Lichrat Kala Pnei Shabbat Mikabila Lechadudi Lichrat Kala Pnei Shabbat Mikabila Shahamor Vizachor Bidibor Echad Hishmianu Elam Yuchad Adunai Ushimo Echad Lechem Ultifer Velitila Lecha Shabbat Lechuvenelka, Ki Mikor Havracha, Mei Rosh Miked and Nisucha, Zog Maaseb in Machabat Hila. Lecha, Dodi, Dodi, Lecha, Dodi, Lecha, We rise for the final verse on page 22. Pene 
We take our seats to Psalm for Shabbat, page 23. Ms. Moore Shearley, oh, my Shabbat to the whole other one. Be frog and shrink, my ways of yet to come for your oven and shun the other. Kaddish, page 24. Yit Gadal, the Yit Gadash Merabba, the Alma Divra Kirute, the Amlich Mahute, the Chayechon of Yomechon of Chaye de Cholbe Israel, Bagala of Isman Kari, the Imru Amen, Yehe Shmerabba Mivarach, the Alam Alame Amaya, Yit Barach, the Ishtabach, the Yit Paar, the Yit Roman, the Yit Nase. Be it Hadar, be it Alev, be it Halal, Shemir Kudisha, Brihu. Le Ela, Minko, Birchata, Vishirata. Tush Bichata, Venechemata, Da Amiran, be Alma, Vimru, Amen. Yehesh, Lama, Rabba, Min Shemaya. The Chayim, Alenu, be Alko, Yisroel, Vimru, Amen. O Se, Shalom, Bim Romav. Who ya se, Shalom. Alenu vi al kol Yisrael vi imru. Amen. We turn to page 28. We rise for the Ma'ari service beginning Baruch Hu, page 28. Bechol 
נפשך ובכל מאודך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצווך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם והשיב לך בביתך ובלך לך בדרך ובשוק בך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובישריך והיה אם שמו תשמעו ותבא אשר אנוכי מצווה אתכם היום אל יבא בני אלה אל מותו של אתכם ונתתם את האדם לביתו אל אלה אשר צווה אתכם ובאשר אדם לא נתן לכם צמתם את הבא ראו לכם Adonai Eloichem Emet 32 Umalchuto b'ratzon kiblu aleihem Moshe v'nei Yisrael chanu shira b'simcha rabba v'yameru Shabbat 
Shabbat, la sor el ha Shabbat, le dorot amberit olam. Kitcheshed yamim, azadonai, yed ha Shamaim, yed ha aretz visham. Silent Amida begins page 35.
Shalom, yes, shalom, shalom aleinu v'yako Yisroel. Yes, shalom, yes, shalom, shalom aleinu v'yako Yisroel. Yes, shalom, yes, shalom, shalom aleinu v'yako Yas shalom, yas shalom, shalom aleinu v'yako Yisrael v'imeru. Shabbat shalom. A while back, the British newspaper The Times interviewed a prominent member of the Jewish community and a member of the House of Lords on his 92nd birthday. The interviewer asked, most people, when they reach their 92nd birthday, start thinking about slowing down. You seem to be speeding up. Why is that? And the interviewee replied, when you get to 92, you start to see the door begin to close. And I have so much to do before that door closes that the older I get, the harder I work. His message parallels the impression that we get of Abraham in this week's parasha, Chaye Sarah. Sarah, his constant companion throughout his journeys, has died. And Abraham is 137 years old. Oy, the arthritis. <laughs> we see him mourn Sarah's death and then move into action. He engages in elaborate negotiations to buy a plot of land to bury her. And he confesses to the local people, Hakiti the Hittites, that he is an immigrant and a resident among you, meaning that he has no right to buy any land. It will take a special consideration for him to do so. The Hittites politely but firmly try to discourage him. He has no need to buy any land, they say. No one among us will deny you his burial site to bury your dead. But equally polite, but no less incessantly, Abraham makes it clear that he is determined to buy land. In the end, he does so, and he pays a highly inflated cost to do it. The purchase of the Cave of Machpelah is evidently a highly significant event because it is recorded in great detail and it's in highly legal terminology, not just here in our text, but three times subsequently in Genesis, each time with the same level of formality. Something significant is being hinted at here. Immediately after that story, we read Abraham was old, well advanced in his years, I'd say so, 137, and God blessed Abraham with everything. This sounds like the end of a life, not a preface to a new course of action. And again, our expectations are confounded. Abraham launches into a new initiative, this time to find a suitable wife for Isaac, who himself is at least 37 years old. Abraham leaves nothing to chance. He does not speak to Isaac himself, but to his most trusted servant, Eliezer, who he instructs to go to my native land, to my birthplace, and find the appropriate woman. He wants Isaac to have a wife who will share his faith and his way of life. Abraham doesn't specify that this person should come from his own family. But this seems to be an assumption that's hovering throughout the entire story and in the background. As with the purchase of the field, 
This course of events is described in more detail than in virtually any other event in the Torah. Every conversational exchange is recorded. The contrast between this story and the binding of Isaac could not be greater. In the binding of Isaac, almost everything, Abraham's thoughts, Isaac's feelings, are left unsaid. Here, every detail is recounted. The literary style is calling our attention to the significance of these events without specifying what that significance really is. The explanation, however, is simple. And it underlines the entire chronicle of Abraham's life. Throughout the biblical story of Abraham and Sarah, God promises two things. Children and a land. The promise of land is repeated seven times throughout the book of Genesis. The promise of children is repeated four times. Abraham's descendants, we are told, will be a great nation, as many as the dust of the earth, as many as the stars in the heavens. He will be the father of not one nation, but of many. But despite all of these foretellings, when Sarah dies, Abraham owns not one piece of land, and he has only one child through whom to continue the covenant, Isaac, and Isaac is unmarried. Neither defined promise has been, def has been fulfilled at this point. And hence, the extraordinary detail of the two main stories in our Sedra, the purchase of land and the finding of a wife for Isaac, there's a moral here. And as a result, the Torah decelerates the pace of the text so that we, we will not miss the point. God promises, but we need to act. God promised Abraham the land, but he had to buy the first piece. God promised Abraham many descendants, but Abraham had to ensure that his son would be married to a woman who would share his life in the covenant. Despite all of the promises made, God does not and God will not do it alone. By the very act of Tzimtzum, of divine self-limitation through which is created a space for human freedom, God gives us responsibility. Only when we exercise those responsibilities can we really reach our full stature as human beings. God saved Noah from the flood, but Noah had to build an ark. God gave the land of Israel to the people of Israel, but they needed to fight the battles. God gives us the strength to act, but we must act. We must achieve. What enhances the world, what fulfills our destiny, is not what God does for us, but what we do for God. We must take responsibility for creating the conditions through which God's purposes may be fulfilled. Perhaps the most important point in this week's Torah reading is that large promises, a land, countless children become real through small actions, small beginnings. An envisioned future recognizes the long journey from here to there, and we can only reach it one act at a time, one day at a time. There are no miraculous shortcuts. As expressed by Pirkei Avot, it's not upon us to complete the work, but neither are we free to desist from doing our very own parts. Abraham acquires a single field. He has just one son through whom the covenant will be continued. But he doesn't complain, and he dies serene and satisfied because he had begun the process, because he had left future generations something upon which they could build. Envisioning the future, beginning the journey upon which others continue to build, endows our lives with a sense of immortality. May we all embrace our covenantal relationship with God, partnering in the process of perfecting our worlds. Clearly, there is much to be done. 
And if Abraham can get busy at the age of 137, clearly this is not one responsibility with a retirement age. Shabbat Shalom. We turn back in our prayer books, page 47, and we ask you to please rise. Mayehulu Hashamai Viharet Vihol Tivam Vayekal Elohim Bayomati Milato Asherasa Vayot Bayomashvi Miko Milato Asherasa Vayavarek Elohim et Yom Ashri'i Vayekadesh Oto Kivo Shabbat Miko Melakto Asher Bara Elohim Lasol Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Elohei Avoteinu Elohei Abraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Shabbat 
Parak pista bak vit va vir uma vir na se vir ha dar vit ale vir la smer kurisha brieko le ela min ko bir kata vishirata tish kata vena kamata damiran vi alma vi meru amen ti kabat se lor honu va hon de ko israel ko dam av hon de vishme avi meru amen yesh lama rabba min shma ve khayim ale in vi ko israel vi meru amen O se shalom bim ramav, o ya se shalom. To be told, Takan and I am low, Leola, and Moe, and On 
this Shabbat, our, fam our hearts go out to the family of Ann Penner. We're observing the yard sites of Lynn Altman, Charles Atkins, Thomas Billado, Lee Bortz, Arnold Buxbaum, Harold Kaplan, Rena Cohen, Doris Cohen, Miriam Cohen, Leo Edelmuth, Carl Fastow, Pauline Gelbart, Reuben Gitman, Edith Gleiner, Ann Goldenberg, Catherine Hutchinson, Rose Kagan, Isidore Katz, Shirley Katzen, Philip Crone, Nikki Morgan, Isabel Rosenthal, Esmit Sadat, Lily Serchik, Ann Sherman, Monty Simon, Dorothy Strauss, Abe Wenick, and Rose White. All those in a period of mourning or observing a yurt site, we ask you to rise. Words of Mourners Kaddish, page 52. Yit gadal v'yit gadash shmei rabah. V'yalma divra kirutei v'yamlich malchutei. V'chayechon v'yomechon v'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael. V'agalau v'zman kari v'yamru. Amen. Yehei shmei rabah mivorak li'olam al-almei al-maya. Yit barak v'yishtabach, v'yit pa'ar, v'yit romam, v'yit nase, v'yit hadar, v'yit ale, v'yit halal, shmei de kudusha, b'richu, l'ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechemata, da'amiran v'yalma v'yimru, amen. Yehei shlama rabba min shemaya, v'chayim alenu v'yal kol Yisroel v'yimru, amen. Ose shalom bim romav, hu ya ase shalom, alenu vi al kol Yisrael vi imru, amen. May be seated. So again, Shabbat shalom. We ask you to take a look through the Madriq. There's plenty of announcements in there, a couple to highlight tomorrow morning during our Shabbat services. We will be honoring our veterans, both of American uh, Army and, and, and American forces, as well as Isra the Israeli IDF, we invite you to come and join us in honoring each of them. Our morning minion is in person on Sunday mornings, as well as on Zoom at 8.30. The rest of the weeks, uh, Monday through Friday, is 9 a.m. Zoom only. Take a look, if you would, at the adult ed ed educational opportunities that are happening this week. Again, we continue on Sunday morning. Someone asked me, is the Rus class on Russian Jewish history happening? Yes, it is. This week, next week, and then we'll take a week off for Thanksgiving. Kazak, on Sunday at 2 o'clock, musical memories, a chamber music tribute to Bernice Beckerman by the Montclair Piano Trio. So we enjoy, invite you to come and join that. Also, um, our men's club on the 19th will be uh, come and join them for their monthly breakfast, be breakfast beginning at 10 o'clock. I ask that if you happen to be going to the march in Washington on Tuesday, please let me know. Just let, let me know because I, I too will be going, going with Federation early in the morning, coming back late at night. Um, it's an important day. We've been talking all along about our need to support Israel in so many different ways. This is yet one more. So if you happen to be going, please let me know so that I have a chance to say hello to you while you're there as well. For those of us with reservations, dinner tonight, we have Dr. Uh, Dr. Oprah Amihai, who is here this evening from Rice. She is a delight. I had the pleasure of having lunch with her a few weeks ago and welcoming her to the community, and I look forward to sharing that joy with those of us who have the opportunity to hear you. Any other announcements? Did I miss anything? I miss Shirley. We can conclude with the singing of Hatikva, page 395. Please rise.
actually someone to find someone to bless. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>